Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to your free live 20 minute Pilates class. I hope you can hear me. So as you come on, I would love for you to let me know. Go ahead and just leave a comment here. Let me know you can hear me. For today's workout, all you're gonna need is a mat and maybe a water bottle. So I'm gonna give everyone a few minutes to come on. We had a little bit of technical difficulties with the first live stream, so hopefully this will work for you guys. Um, and this Pilates class is going to be a full body 20 minute workout and all levels are welcome. Okay. So no matter whether you're just starting out or whether you've been doing Pilates forever, you are welcome in this workout and I'm seeing you guys showing up Woohoo! and you can hear me. Okay. Yay. Yay. You found me. Hi, Laura. Hi, Emily. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. This is going to be very casual. You guys, I just thought it was going to be fun to Get our workouts in together. So, so often I know so many of you work out with me on the screen in your living rooms. So I wanted to be in my living room working out with you too. So that's what we're going to do today. 20 minutes of Pilates, full body, just flowing from one exercise to the next. I'll lead us through a quick warm up, a nice little series to touch on all parts of your body. We'll strengthen the upper body. We'll work on your core. We'll tone your lower body and just get your oxygen flowing, your breath moving, so that when you finish this workout, you feel amazing. You feel refreshed, renewed, and ready to take on the day. Okay, does that sound good? If you are in and you are excited, leave a comment, say I'm ready. And just a heads up, I am at home, and I'm gonna put my hair up, and the babies are sleeping. So let's hope they nap. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Robin. I'm a Pilates instructor, and I started The Balanced Life which is a website dedicated to helping women like you, busy women, get fit, but more than just get fit, learn to love their bodies, love exercise, feel good about their routine, and do it all from home with very little stress, lots of positivity, and just a really realistic approach to health and wellness. So I'm a mama to four. So I have a five-year-old, I have a three-year-old, and I have five-month-old twins. So as I mentioned, the twins are napping right now just down the hall. So fingers crossed they take a good, solid nap and let us get through this workout. But don't worry, I do have a babysitter here. She's here just in case for emergency if they wake up. So, okay, I'm so glad you guys are finding me. Yay. Hi, Elisa. Okay, so I would love, hey, Melinda, thank you for helping out. Yes, we had a little trouble with the first link. So here's what I would love to know first before we dive in. Leave a comment and let me know, are you new to The Balanced Life or have you been around a while or are you a sisterhood member? So sisterhood is my monthly membership program. It's actually open for enrollment right now if you're interested. And um, we basically do Pilates like this all the time. I do not always live videos. Often they're scheduled. So they are, you know, they're, you can watch them on your own time do them from home, whatever it works for you and your schedule. You typically don't have to show up live for workouts with me. They're available whenever you want them. But just for fun, we're doing this live one to actually work out together. And just kind of, sometimes it's more motivating to have somewhere, you know, to show up to and be with people in this kind of setting. So we're just doing it for fun. Um, we've got people from Ireland. Wow, love it. Okay, Candice. Woohoo! At work in her office, getting this done. Can we all give Candice an applause because that's pretty impressive. She usually could have said, "I can't. I'm at work," but she's doing it. I love it. Okay, Kathleen is ready. Lori's ready. Hey, Carla. Megan, hi, Megan. Being a part of the sisterhood has really given me the confidence in my own body and my own strength. I love it. Oh yes. Okay, you guys are ready. Should we dive in? Should we dive in? Okay, I'm gonna keep this to 20 minutes. So I have to watch my phone because otherwise I'll just keep going and I want this to be quick and efficient. So I'm gonna set my timer here um, and we'll get started. Okay, couple of things. Um, first, I won't be able to watch the comments while I'm leading the workout. So um, it's okay to still comment and leave comments and I can follow up on them after the workout. But during the workout, I will just be talking and you guys hopefully will be following along, right? So go ahead and roll out your mat, get comfortable, maybe have some water nearby. I'll need it because I'm talking and let's go ahead and work out. 
Okay. And FYI, just using this mic for the first time. I thought it might make better sound for you guys. So it might get in the way, but you know me. I'm used to just kind of rolling with it. So we'll make it work together, okay? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move my water bottle where I won't kick it, ideally. Okay, straighten out my mat. Can you guys, what I can see is I can see the thumbs up. So when you hit the thumbs up, I can see that, or the heart, whatever, any kind of reaction. So if you can see me okay, can you give me a thumbs up or a heart so that I can see those? Okay, I see one heart. One person can see me. Oh, there's a thumb. Here they come. Okay. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay. So I've got my timer going, and we're going to go. So let's start. Let's start this way. This is driving me crazy. There we go. Okay. Seated. Nice and tall, on your mat, right on your sit bones, sitting up nice and tall, hands just right behind your thigh, and let's lengthen up through the crown of the head. And just close your eyes for a minute. So take a moment to pause. Let's just kind of come into our workout. So adjust anything you need to adjust, your shirt, your pants, your hair. Find your mat, a good position, and close your eyes. Take a nice big inhale and a nice big exhale. Another nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Now begin to sit a little bit taller, okay? So I want you to lengthen up through the crown of your head, just sitting taller and taller and taller until you feel like there's less weight down on your sit bones, less weight in your hips. Just feel your spine growing tall. Good, and float your arms straight forward. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, imagine that your bony sit bones right underneath you are sliding towards your heels, and you're coming back just about halfway. Now pause here and really feel the abdominal wall drawing in towards your spine. So there's this feeling of scooping to create this C curve with your body, scooping. Inhale here. As you exhale, deepen that contraction, round your way up, and then stack tall again to that nice tall spine, okay? Inhale to prepare. Exhale, we start the movement by sliding the sit bones forward towards your heels. That creates that nice movement in the lower back. Otherwise, we start here and we miss the whole lower back. So slide those hip bones forward, roll back. Relax the shoulders on the body. Inhale. Exhale. Deepen the abdominal connection. Roll up. And imagine that you're stacking your spine up against a wall behind you. Okay? Let's do about five more like that, and I'll just breathe and lead you through it. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Pause. Exhale to deepen and stack it up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, three more. We're just getting that nice movement here. It's a great warm up for the back. It's also connecting us to our abdominal muscles to wake them up. And I actually feel it in my arms and shoulders too because I'm really being intentional about setting the shoulders on the back, right? Not this, shoulder blades down. Beautiful, okay, roll back, roll up. And on the next one, let's roll back and hold. So again, drop those shoulders, and sometimes you may be just dropping the elbows will help you to kind of get out of that, the shoulders, right? Sometimes we get up here, let's just kind of, ah, good. Keeping that nice and relaxed. Abs pulling in, raise your left arm, and down. Raise your right arm, and down. Ready, keep breathing. I really don't care how you breathe here, I just want you to keep the breath moving. And really deepening that abdominal scoop. As this feels easy for you, if you're not feeling much of a burn, take it back a little bit deeper, a little bit further back. See if you can make yourself work a little bit harder. Inhale. We want the body to heat up here. Good. You guys, I'm seeing that there's, I think I can see from here, more than 400 of us right now working out together. How fun is that? 400 of us all over the world, literally. People in Ireland people here in California. I saw someone from Idaho, from Canada. It's so fun. Good. 
Last one, right arm comes up. And sit tall, go ahead and place your hands to your knees. Extend your chest, I want you to actually kind of arch your back a little bit, feel that beautiful chest opening. Oh, if you've been sitting at a computer, you need this. Oh, good, okay. Arms come back forward, inhale, exhale, roll back halfway. Sitting the shoulders down again on your back, get out of the neck, and you're gonna now float your left knee and place it down and float your right knee. And down, and left, and down. Now here I want you to exhale. Because it's like a little crunch, a little ab engagement every time you lift that leg. Good, exhale. Really getting deep into those deep lower abdominal muscles. Here we go. It probably sounds loud on the microphone when I blow on it. <laughs> and good, let's do one more each side. Left, down and right, down and roll up. Hands to your knees, open across the chest. Bring your heart forward up to the sky. Good, okay, I have to move my mat. I'm gonna hit the wall. So go ahead and roll all the way down onto your back. I just want to move this just a little bit so I, I, can get, I don't get out of the screen. There we go. Okay, roll yourself down onto your back. And just allow your body to settle into the mat here. Ah, oh, does not feel good. Feel your chest opening up, your collarbone widening, bones just settling into the ground. We want our feet sit bone distance apart. And... Um, Knees are just kind of right in line with your feet, right in line with your hips. Good. Place your hands down by your side. Take an inhale. As you exhale, flatten your back. Roll up into a bridge. So pressing your feet into the mat. Reach your knees over your toes. Inhale. And as you exhale, roll your way back down. Let's do five pelvic curls. Rolling up, trying to get as much movement as you can. Lifting those hips. And now it's not yoga, so we're not pushing up as high as we can. Instead, we want to have a nice long straight line from shoulder to knee and then articulate the spine down one vertebra at a time. Good. Move at your own pace and just try to create as much movement as you can in your spine. Good. Rolling up. And rolling down. On the next one, we're gonna roll up and hold. So press into the ground. Now here's what I want you to do. Look straight up, resist the urge to look at me because that's not gonna be good for your neck while your hips are up. So look straight up to the sky and I will walk you through this with my voice. So engage your abdominals. Can you think of lengthening your lower back? In other words, can you reach your tailbone towards the back of your knees? Good, now press your upper arms into the mat for a little bit more stability. And as you inhale, raise your right knee off of the mat, coming into tabletop position, and place it down. Without shifting too much in your hips, just switch sides and down. So you're marching the legs. One, and down, and two, and down. Good, try to keep the hips nice and high, not letting them drop between marches. And don't be afraid to press into the mat with your upper arms. Engage the shoulder girdle. Engage the triceps. Let's get some full body work here. You're working those hamstrings. You're toning the glutes, strengthening the core, and toning the upper body right now. Good. Let's do three more sets. Three. And two. Good, and one, keep going. Now pause here and then roll your way down one vertebra at a time. Good, hug both knees in towards your chest. And just kind of flex and point, flex and point, loosen up your feet and ankles. Good, bring your right knee to tabletop and your left knee to tabletop and grab behind your thighs, nod your chin, come up. We're going into the hundred, okay? There's options. I'm gonna modify. I'm still coming back from my childbirth, <laughs> from carrying twins. So I'm gonna stay here. For more advanced, you can go here, okay? Pick your position. Here we go. We're gonna inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. In the most beginner would be right here. Three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. In, two, four, five, ex, two, three, four, five. Inhale, good. 
you're working your abs, you're warming up your body, and you're getting your breath moving. Anyone else feeling warm? <laughs> In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Good, draw the chest up a little higher. Flatten that back into the mat, squeeze your legs together. Last breath cycle, inhale, exhale. Good, hug your knees all the way in. From here, stretch your left leg long down the mat, right leg goes up to the sky, and let's just flex and point. Flex and point. So don't worry if your hamstring is tight and you need to bend a little bit, it's okay. But I want you to think of heel to the ceiling, toe to the ceiling. Heel to the ceiling, toe to the ceiling. Probably you're gonna feel tight here. I know I do. Good, now draw the abdominals in. Find that strong, stable core and really reach your fingertips down by your side. We're going into leg circles. You could bend a knee for support if you need a little bit more balance and support. Here we go, we cross over midline. Circle out and up. We're drawing a big circle with our leg and our goal is to stay stable in the trunk and not wobble side to side. Let's go three, and four, and five, and six. Good, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse the circle, so we go out, over, and up. Out, across, and up. The main goal is stability. Four, so really focus. Five, six, this one is one I'm really working on coming back after having babies. Oh, because it's just like that whole area gets so wobbly. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to improve on. Good, hug your knee in. And go ahead and draw the knee across your body and rotate your upper body in the opposite direction, coming into a lower back twist. Just go as far as feels comfortable for you and relax into it. Go ahead and close your eyes and just breathe. Relax your body and notice how good this feels. You're gonna feel so good when you're done with this workout. You're gonna be so glad you took the time to just move your body and get your blood flowing and get your oxygen moving. You're gonna just feel so much better when you're done. Okay, come back through center. Stretch that leg down the mat. Other leg's gonna come up to the sky. We're gonna do a little flex and point and heel to the ceiling and toes to the ceiling. Good. So you can go as straight or as bent as you need to. My hamstrings are really tight today. I did, um, I did a workout two days ago and it was heavy on the hamstrings. <laughs> I've been sore ever since. This feels really, really good. Okay, stable. Trunk, here we go, cross over midline, circle down, around, and up. And down, around, and up. And three, and four, good, and five. Remember, you can bend this bottom leg for a little bit more support. Good, and eight, nine, 10, reverse it, go 10. And nine, keep breathing. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knee in. Draw it across your body, stretching opposite with the upper body. Good, relax into this, close your eyes, and enjoy the stretch. Beautiful. Okay, from here, let's just roll onto our side. So roll onto your side. Let's go ahead, actually, let's go long arm. So, get myself situated. Where's my microphone? Okay, we're good. Okay, how are we doing? Are we good? Okay, go ahead and lay with your head on your arm and place your hand right in front of your body. Our legs are stacked, our hips are stacked, but we're gonna bring the bottom legs, no, the bottom legs, both legs, slightly forward so we're in a bit of a half moon shape. Okay, from here, take an inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna reach and lift both legs off of the mat and lower back down. And reach and lift and lower down. Good, so if this is uncomfortable on your hips, 
then you might just need a little bit more padding, maybe a little softer mat, or you could fold a small towel underneath you next time if that would feel better. Good, for more advanced, here's what we can do. Put your palm down and you're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower, you guys. We are working the muscles of the waist here, the obliques. And lift, and you're gonna work that underside as well, the shoulder girdle. Let's do three more. Three, and two, good, and last one. And lower down, keeping your head resting. Bend your bottom knee. Keep your top leg reaching straight out. Circle forward for 10, nine, eight. Good. Do you see how stable I'm trying to be in my core, in my trunk? That's what this is all about with Pilates. Core strength first. Mobility in the hip second. Good. You're going to also work your glutes here outside of your thigh. Great for strengthening and lengthening those leg muscles. And pause, reverse that circle. So really use the back of the leg to circle back, back, four. Good, relax up here on the top of your neck. Yep. Eight, nine, ten. Pause here. Let's just lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Three, it's not much, but it's enough to feel a burn. Four. Hopefully I'm not the only one. Five, abs are pulling in. Six, seven, lengthen out that leg. Yes, good. Nine and 10. Now come to about hip height, flex your foot. Turn your knee and toe to point in and down. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Here comes the major burn. Good, and four, five, Six, good, seven, eight, stay with me, nine, and 10. Here we go, from here, keep your hips where they are. Flex right here at the hip crease. Bring the leg forward, it's still internally rotated. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Feel that burn right here. Good, this is four, right? Four, five, six, you can do this. Seven, breathe through the hard part. Yes, good, and back, reach it long, and release. Good, beautiful job. Roll onto your back, let's stretch it out. We deserve it. So cross that ankle over your opposite thigh. Oh, you'll feel it, hopefully, as much as I do. Hang out here if this feels good. If you're looking for a deeper stretch, pick up the bottom leg and hold behind your thigh. You'll feel it. Now this figure four stretch, do my feet really look, are they really as dirty as they look on the screen? I don't think so. <laughs> um, this is a figure four stretch and it's great to do on a daily basis for your hips and your back. You just keep yourself mobile, keep yourself open. So feel free to do this on a daily basis. Ideally, you're a little warm when you do it. So after doing a quick Pilates workout with me, but really, Doing it daily no matter what is going to be a good thing for you. Okay, let's go ahead and just do our other side. So carefully sitting up, pushing yourself up, and we'll flip to the other side. I'll check my time. Oh my gosh, you guys, how's this going so fast? Okay, time flies when you're having fun. Okay, hand on your arm, nice and straight. Abs are in, legs come slightly forward of your body. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, lift the legs and lower, lift, and lower. Remember, for more advanced, we added the upper body, and down, good, four, and down. So it's actually like I'm dragging my armpit towards my hip bone, and so I'm not really pushing myself up, I'm using my abs, the side abs, to lift myself at my obliques. Good, here we go, let's do, what, four more, four, and three, and two, last one. One, we've gotta work our body on this side before we call it a day. So bend your bottom leg, top leg reaches straight out of your hip socket, and abs are in. Circle forward for one, two, 
three, four, five. Good. Your first goal is stability. Remember that. Yes. Good. Pause here. Reverse it. Go 10. And you're really driving things from the back of the leg, from the glutes. <sighs> Can you smile? Smiling helps to relax the tension through your neck and jaw. So just smile. Relax the top shoulder and breathe and say, Robin, I wish you were better at counting. We know that. We know that by now. Okay, pause. From here, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Three, four. Okay, when it really starts to burn, then I really focus on my counting. <laughs> okay, we got seven, eight, nine. 10, now bring it down to hip level, flex the foot, knee and toe point in and down, lower, lift, lower, lift. You're still breathing, you're still pulling those abs up and in, you're getting stronger, you're gonna feel so good when you're done. Stay with me, good. Relax that top shoulder, the leg's gonna come back to hip height, you're gonna flex at the hip crease, come forward, lower, lift, lower, Lift and three, four, feel a burn, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, reach it long. Oh, relax the leg, roll onto your back, and let's cross ankle over your thigh. Hang out here if that is good for you. Oh my gosh, you guys! Or pick up the bottom leg for a deeper stretch. I'm going to start here for a little bit. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that's so intense today on this side, but it is. Every day, every day is different, right? You guys experience that too. Some days you just do a workout and you're like nailing it and you feel amazing. Other days you have to really work your way through it. And we just have to have grace with ourselves and know that every day is different. And that's okay. The point is that we keep showing up on our mat, we keep taking care of ourselves, and we don't let a hard day throw us off track for the entire month or the entire year, right? So hug both knees in towards your chest. I want to make sure we get a little bit of upper back work in before we call it a day. So roll onto your tummy, and let's go ahead and just place your fingertips, your palms, right under your shoulders, and rest your forehead down on the mat. From here, draw your belly button up off of the mat as much as you can. I know you're probably thinking, Robin, that's not going to happen. But I want you to at least imagine that it's going to happen. Create a little pocket of air under your belly button. Good. From here, inhale. Lengthen out through your spine. And that lengthening is what's going to help you to lift up off of the mat, sliding the shoulders down your back. Toes are still down on the ground. Abs are still pulling up and in. Look at that beautiful strengthening you're doing for your upper back. And then lower yourself down. Just five like that. So we lengthen out to come up. Now, take a look at my head for a minute. I'm not doing this. That's just my neck. There's no good there. Keep the back of the neck long. Use the upper back to lift yourself up. Good. And lower down. Abs draw in. Lengthening out. Shoulders slide back. And down. Two more. Abs draw in lengthen. It doesn't have to be big and flashy to be really effective work. This right here is not only going to strengthen your core, it's going to improve your posture and build upper back strength. Last one. Good and beautiful. Let's push up onto all fours. Sit your hips back over your heels. Rest your forehead on the mat and take a few big deep breaths here. We are ending our workout. I swear that flew by so fast, but I don't want you to rush, rush this part. I don't want you to skip it. I'll give yourself this time to breathe and slow down before you rush on with the rest of your day. Close your eyes. Feel your body relaxing into the mat. Let go of any tension you're holding on to. Good. And slowly coming back up to a seated position. And congratulations, you're done for the day. You did your 20 minute workout. Didn't that fly by you guys? I feel like 
that was just like five or 10 minutes, but we did it. We snuck 20 minutes into our day. We should be really proud of ourselves. You can see that even just from 20 minutes, I feel like more alive. I have more, more color in my face, more blood flow, more energy. I feel more positive. I hope you guys do too. Type a comment. Let me know right now. How do you feel? Now that your workout is done, let me know how you feel. Type in a word or a few words of how you're feeling now, maybe even compared to how you felt when you started. Um, for me, energized, refreshed, um, warmer, <laughs> looser, stronger, proud. Yes, let's do this every week. Okay, so a few things before I let you guys go. First of all, thank you for joining me for this free workout. Let's do it again soon. I absolutely want to. And one of my goals is to do this more often inside of our sisterhood group throughout the year. So we have a Facebook group for sisterhood members. And again, that's my monthly membership program. And in that group, I want to do this more often because we all work out. We're all doing our Pilates workouts at home. So the more we can do it together, I think the more fun we'll have. And then for those of you who are curious about it, I did open enrollment for the sisterhood for this week only. It's called a flash opening and it's basically just like a surprise because we've been getting so many requests from people who really want to add at-home Pilates into their routine for 2019. And our doors are closed to the public throughout the year except for specific times when we open it. So we decided what the heck, let's open the doors, let new people join and come in and get started with at-home Pilates and this community that's so positive and wonderful um, to add into their routine for 2019. So here's what I want you to know. I am not here to tell you that you need to start a new uh, diet plan or lose weight this year, okay? I know a lot of people are setting New Year's resolutions. A lot of people are selling diet plans right now. For the health and fitness industry, this is usually like go time, right? It's the number one time you can sell to people because they are ready to buy. And here's what I want you to know. You don't have to lose weight this year. Um, you don't have to start a new diet. You don't have to do anything. But here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Make sure that you have a plan in place to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself, okay? And this is, I'm speaking to you as much as I'm speaking to me. So as you guys know, I um, run The Balanced Life, which is actually like my full-time job um, because we have a community of thousands of women all around the world and I show up for them, for you, <laughs> and teach Pilates workouts and provide resources and recipes and community support. Um, but beyond that, I'm also a mom. I have, like I mentioned earlier, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and I have five-month-old twins. And so I have come to a point where it's like, it is really easy for me to put myself last on the list. It is, it is hard to make time for myself, to take care of myself, to prioritize my workouts. It's honestly hard. Um, it's easier to show up and do what I need to do for work and do what I need to do for my family. And then my workout, my time gets put to the bottom of the list. Can any of you guys relate to that? If so, um, type in the comments and tell me I can relate. Um, you do everything and the first thing to get bumped from your to-do list is you, right? I have a feeling I'm not the only one. So lately I have been really focusing on what are my values and I value health because if I don't have my health, I don't have, I can't be the mom that I want to be. I can't be the wife that I want to be. I can't follow my dreams and build this community and the balanced life and the sisterhood. If I am sick in bed or just not feeling 100%, I can't do any of that. So when I reframe that to think I have to feel good and I want to feel good in order to really get the most out of my life, then that means I have to find a way to put myself on the list, right? I have to find a way to fit myself into the schedule. And if it's really a value, I will, right? What we value, we make time for. So I'm here to encourage you to, like me, make sure that you are prioritizing yourself. It's not selfish. It's not a luxury. You have to take care of yourself or there will be repercussions, right? And I've had to be reminded of that. Um, hormone issues, stress, um, like weight gain, that's just one thing, but like I care more about how I feel, right? 
And there will be repercussions if I don't take care of myself. And the same is true for you. So if you take nothing else from this workout today, you may not have anyone else in your life saying, I see you and I need you to take care of yourself. I need you to take 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day to get on your Pilates mat and move your body and breathe and reset and let go of stress and get a little time for yourself so you can go back to whatever it is, your work, your family, feeling a little better, a little healthier, a little more whole. And so you may not have anyone in your life telling you that on a daily basis. So I want to be that person for you. And I want you to hear this. I know that someone is listening to this thinking she's talking right to me. Um, I want you to prioritize yourself. And it may just be 15 minutes a day. And that's okay. And that's what we do in the sisterhood is we do either 15 minutes a day, sometimes 30 minutes a day, but it's all at home. It's on our mats. We have thousands of women who are also committing to this pursuit of healthy, balanced living for the right reasons, not for, you know, fad reasons or trendy reasons. And we're doing this and I'm committing to 15 to 30 minutes a day and I invite you to join me. So if you're not already in the sisterhood, go to the link on my page and sign up right now before the doors close. What you'll get when you join is an easy to follow plan that literally you can do from home. It's affordable. You can't fail at it. There's no like winning or losing or doing it or not doing it. You just use it to the best of your ability. And it's, it's an opportunity to start fresh and start a new healthy pattern um, for you in 2019. One that is realistic and practical and not overly time consuming, right? Because we're busy people. So um, I invite you to check it out, I invite you to join me. We have a ton of sisterhood members who are here right now and just read through these comments and you'll see what they're saying and hopefully it will be inspiring to you. And I know that any of them would be happy to chat and encourage you as well. So I see Mary saying, I love how positive and supportive the sisterhood is. I see Elisa saying, I, I always feel like you're talking right to me. Your messages are golden. I appreciate you and your amazing team from the sisterhood. Thank you, Elisa. Um, and Trish, Trish is saying, I don't know where I would be without the sisterhood as a mom of five. You're amazing, Trish. And I'm so glad you're doing for this for yourself because I know at any given moment there are at least five people who need you and your attention. So good for you for making this happen. Um, yes, Linda saying, absolutely. If you can give yourself 10 minutes, that's amazing. You definitely deserve time just for you. And you guys don't underestimate what just 10 minutes can do. Look, we just did 20 minutes and didn't it go by like that? And how much better do you feel like to just go into the rest of your day, right? Okay, so you guys know I could talk about this forever in a day, um, and I do inside the sisterhood, but we will hit pause for now. We'll continue this conversation over in the sisterhood Facebook group um, as we always do, and let's do this again soon, okay? This was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. The baby slept through the whole thing. Yay. I <laughs> call that a success, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.